Hi there guys, today we're in Italy, it's Aosta, which is near the Mont Blanc tunnel. I thought I'd just show you this cool, th that lady there is getting fresh uh, mountain water from that tap there with the cross on it. It's a pretty little town, not far from Geneva, so perfect for a Geneva day trip. So we're starting at one end of the street and we're going to head our way down to the beautiful Roman kind of, uh, well there's a statue there and and like a weird bridge kind of area it's on the other end of the town. So we're going to walk down here together. Lots of tourists. I've met someone from Denmark, America, English, um, a, an Irish guy. So yeah, it's very French, of course, and Swiss. So it's, it's been a nice experience. Let me flip you around. So there's loads of little cool features here, nice statues. It's actually famous for its meat. So it's uh, cold meats, basically. You can get some really cheap limoncello here as well. It's, it's cheap as well, that's another thing. So if you're going from Geneva to Milan, I'd recommend stopping here. And one of you, you guys actually told me to come here. Um, I apologize, I've forgotten what your name is, but you told me to come and I'm here, so cheers, thank you. It was a good call. And yeah, basically we're just gonna have a wander down here. See who we meet. And I can't get over how cheap it is, especially compared to Geneva and Milan. So there are, there's like a cathedral over there as well. There are uh, Milan videos on the channel in the playlist below. And yeah, it's pretty, it's nice. Have a look at the floor. I actually think my favorite part is coming up. Hi there. Hi. They're German. <laughs> it's like a, a melting pot of EU countries here with a few Americans. And I love Americans because you are my biggest viewers. So cheers, guys. Thank you so much. The YouTube analytics tells me that. Um, yeah, so you've got the big square coming up. And it reminds me of a place in France called... Ah, oh, forgotten the name of it now. Is it? Ah, oh, I'll put the name here if I remember. Bel Bellevue, maybe? It's a little um, Haute Savoie town. It's very pretty. I have filmed it as well. So look at this. So it's the Hotel de Ville. I have noticed in Italy and any Italians, if you're watching and you speak English, let me know below why you add on such a big service charge when you go for a, uh, something to eat. So is it per person that you add it on or is it per server? Because each time I've been for a meal, there's been an additional 20 or 25 euros on top of the original price, which is bizarre. But yeah, it seems to be what you do here. That's actually a Danish uh, basketball team, those guys there. I spoke with the teacher up, up at the top of the road. Anyway, let's get a view of this. Hotel de Ville. Hello. Where are you from? Mozza. Mozza. Do you like it here? Yeah. Yeah? Can I ask you a question? Are you Italian? Yes. yes. What What do you think of pineapple pizza? Shit. It's shit, yeah? yeah it's and where yes. is it from? England or America? America. Uh, no, uh, America. America. I don't get, uh, America. America, yeah, America. I think so, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> where would you say is better, here or Milano? Mm, I think Milano. Because yeah. I love Milano. I love yeah. Milano as well. I just filmed Milano. <laughs> and huh. I saw the football team Milan, Milan. and Napoli. Ah, uh, Champions League. Yeah, yes, I, I saw yes. the fans. It was very good. Yes, yes. 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 
But I like Manchester United. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Do you know Manchester United? Yes. We, we, we're, yeah, yeah. we're ruining the past. Oh, of we're course. Yeah. And what do you support? Cristiano Ronaldo. Si. Exactly. Are you Juventus or Milan? Milan. 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 AC Milan? AC Milan. Oh, wow. Well, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> but cheers, guys. Have a good trip. Bye. I've, I've got to continue because people yes. are waiting. But you have a YouTube channel? It, travel with Will. Travel with Will. I, I you'll you'll be in the video. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Bye, bye. bye bye. You know, it's not very good to speak with children. <laughs> but you know, they, they asked me a question first. Yeah, we live in a strange world where you can't actually do many things now. But anyway. Yeah, so uh, I did notice if you're a Man United fan, you'll be very popular in Milan. I think it's because of the David Beckham link. But anyway, yes, so that's my football team. You know that I've got hay fever, so I can't speak. Excuse me. So you know that now. I'm a Man United fan. Um, you're learning little bits of information about me, like hay fever as well. It's really bad this year. Has anyone else got really bad hay fever this year? Let me know below. And I've been taking the antihistamines for about three weeks now, but they're not kicking in yet. So basically, you've got two parts of the town. It's divided up by the town square. So that's one side, and then this side is more... Oh, we'll have a look at the mountains. It's, you've got a more like Roman artefacts down here. Ooh. You see, you see, the camera's... Hello. The camera is very popular with people. Yeah, in some of the videos, I don't realise people are actually behind me, which is quite funny. Um, there is, there was a man selling bracelets down here. I'm trying to find him actually, because he seemed like a character, and I wasn't filming at the time. Let's see if we can bump into him. I'll show you, spin you round again. So as you can see, you've got the Roman stuff coming up. I love Milan as well. That guy, that kid was right. Beautiful. I really, really like Milan. I like the old area, the new area. And then we could even say that this isn't in Lombardy, but you're not far away from it, to be honest. So even just from the Mont Blanc tunnel down to Milan is nice. I've seen a lot of limoncello. After the amount of food I just ate, I could do with some limoncello, the old digestive system. But you do have a lot of Asian food here as well. And there's a car coming down here. It's so Italian, the driving. When you're on the highway, I, everyone drives really fast or really slow. There's no middle ground. It's kind of uh, free for all, if you like. And then you throw in the French and the Swiss drivers. The Swiss, you're always going to drive slow if you're Swiss. There's something about you guys. Super chill. Too much money. That's the problem with the Swiss. They're too relaxed, the Swiss. They're proper chill. And I do love the Swiss as well, as you know. That wasn't my stomach, that was that bulldog. But this is the Roman artifact here. One of them anyway. You can normally tell a French person by their bag. 
Because French people often have this kind of bag that I'm wearing. You get that in the, um, wow, look at these, the decathlon shops in France. I just remembered the name of the town this reminds me of, Bonville in France, in Haute Savoie. Yeah, it's very similar, but it's more pretty. And yeah, whilst we're here, let's have a look at the prices. So a pizza is between 8 and 16. A beer, a pint of beer is 5 euros. A coffee was 350. So it's way cheaper than Milan. And obviously way cheaper than Geneva. There is a kebab place coming up. Let's have a, let's have a look at the price of the kebabs. So a kebab is actually seven euros here. And a tandoori salmon is 15 euros. Oof, sounds a bit dodgy to me. That, that might be a bit of a, especially from that place, I wouldn't risk that one. You'd need about 10 pints before you'd eat one of those. They have loads of little touristy shops. Got a Paris bag here. It's a bit weird. That should be in Provence. In Provence, France, not here. tip to you for this is is avoid this at all costs because you'll just be in and out always bring good shoes for around these old towns because the roads aren't even look at that lovely dog there yeah there's still a few places in switzerland we've got to do yet like ticino let me know below what you want me to do in switzerland without a blocked nose guys sound really strange yeah, but you get loads of little specialised local things here, like they're good with their cold meats, like I said. Look at all this lemoncello here. You do know at some point we're going to be walking around Asia together. I think I'm going to start in Vietnam, so let me know what you think about that idea. I wonder if they'll have lovely bottles of lemoncello like this in Asia. What do you think? That's 10 euros for that. Whoa, that's good. That's a good price. Nice Italian clothes. They've got nice style in Italy. I did do a, a walk around an outlet centre in Milan. That video's below in the playlist there. And just really classy clothes. You can't deny the Italian style. Italians, you've got a really nice style. It's a debate between the food. I prefer French food, but that's just me. I know my friend Luke would disagree. Let's have a look at this, what's going on here? You know, it's nice to see Italian people appreciating their own country. So Italian school kids, they go on a lot of local school trips. God, look at this bakery here. In the UK, we do visit London, but often we go to like France or even here. So, so yeah, it's nice to see people enjoying their own country. I don't know what it is with Italy, but wherever I go, there's always some form of annoying construction in an area where you don't want it. 
And this was the arch I was talking about earlier. see the Alps there it's very pretty so you're not far from the Mont Blanc tunnel there's a tour guide here And basically this represents the start of the town. I hope you enjoyed that mini tour. I had a dreadfully blocked nose during that. So if you've made it this far, super cool. We'll end with these, the view of this mountain here. And we're gonna go back to Geneva now. I can blow my nose finally. I apologize for you listening to that. And please like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna have an ice cream now. I can see people smoking. Isn't smoking such an awful habit? Anyway, guys, cheers. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's someone I know. Right, cheers, guys. Bye.